Hi, today we are going to learn how to modify the contact details of a domain name. If you remember, ICANN had implemented a set of new rules for the IRTP, that is Inter Registrar Transfer Policy, in September 2015. On your Reseller Club account, you can opt to use the designated agent functionality during the contact modification process, which simplifies things for you. So now, let's get started with the contact modification process. For domain name, first we'll have to go to the overview page of the domain name. So for that, we'll first click on products, list all orders, then click on the domain name. Once you click on the domain name, it will take us to the overview page of the domain. On the overview page, under domain registration, you'll find an option that says contact details. Click on contact details and modify the details that you wish to modify here. Here, if we modify the registrant contact or the registrant email address or the organization name, in that case, a verification process is triggered, which is known as the IRTP verification, the inter-registrant transfer policy. So there are two ways in which you can verify this. The very first one is the normal IRTP process. So I'll show you that first. So for that, I'll modify the email address. And then click on save contact details. Once I click on save it, it will give me two options. The very first option is that the registrar authorization not required. Now this is the IRTP DA process, which is the Inter-Registrant Transfer Policy Designated Agent. If I select this option, the registrar will be opted as a designated agent and in that case there will be no verification email sent to the losing registrant email address, that is a prior email address which was mentioned in the contact. But after selecting this, we'll enable a 60-day transfer lock on the domain and I will not be able to transfer the domain for the next 60 days. The second one is the basic IRTB process in which a verification email will be sent to the prior registrant contact as well as the new registrant contact that is a new email address that I have entered. Here I have an option to disable the transfer lock so I'll just select the second one which is the normal IRTP process. Now once I click on it So on my overview page for that domain, it shows me a pop-up that says Registrant Verification is pending. Now if I click on View Status, it will show me that the verification is pending for both the old registrant, that is the current registrant, as well as the new registrant and I have to verify both the registrant email addresses by clicking on the link received in the email. So here is the email that I have received. Once I click on it, you can see I have a link here. So if I click on it, it will give me an option either to approve or decline. Here I'll be declining it so I can show you the IRTP DA process as well. So now I will select the IRTP DA process. So I'll have to again change the email address here. And I will select the first option, which is the registrant authorization not required option. Once I click on it, now for the first one, the previous verification that we had when we clicked on view details, we could see that the verification was pending for both the current registrant as well as the losing registrant. But here, if I click on view status, it will show that the current registrant has already verified whereas the new registrant has received a verification email. Again, I've received a verification email. Click on the approval link and then click on approve. Once I approve this, the contact details for the domain will be modified immediately and I could see the changes inside the panel. 
So now since I have approved the modification, if I click on contact details, now you can see that the email ID has been modified and the new email address is visible immediately. So this was the IRTB and the IRTB DA process. Hope this was helpful and in case you have any queries, please reach out to us using the details mentioned in the description box below. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.